So up YouTube, Danny Bizzle here, and uh, finally getting round to show you my Dragon Gales build, or Chaos Dragon, so you want to bloody call it. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a big monster count in this. We're on very few traps, I'll go through it all now. We have three Eclipse Wyvern, one of the best cards in this deck. Uh, Searches out the Red Eyes, Darkness Metals, or my Dark Armed from my deck. Banish, banishes it, and when this is banished through like I don't know, Curse or a Light Pulse or Dark Flare, um, I can add one of them cards back into my hand. You probably already know all this anyway. So yeah, so three, Clips Wyvern, three Red Eyes, Darkness Metals, Wild Glare, um, yep, the Beat Stick. The special summoner, this and light pulse on the field, it's uh, quite hard to get rid of both of them without the other one coming back. Um, amazing card. Two light pulsar. Um, what can I say? It's a shame that it misses the timing sometimes, but Day Torrential or Dark Hole, you get your red eyes back anyway. Um, and then special summon it out again if it survives to your next turn. Dark Flare. To be honest, I don't really use this for its effect. Uh, its effect is like a foolish burial. Uh, it's not bad, but I mainly use it for future fusion. Just dump it in the grave. Use it as fodder. Two Divine Dragon Apocalypse. Uh This is a good card, actually. Uh, allows me just to dump stuff that I don't need, like... I don't know, say my opponent doesn't run traps, dump the MST, or dump the Dark Hole, something that you don't really need in your hand. Uh, you probably go for the OTK and uh, get Red Eyes, Darkness Metal back to your hand, banish this, special summon Red Eyes, go on from there, swarm the field. Uh, two Car Trooper, just for mills really, just getting the mills out. Uh, many don't really like me, but well, what can I say, you need it, you need the darks and lights in the grave. Two Lila, Ryko, uh, basically for destruction uh, and the mill. That's my little light swan engine in there. Uh, I don't run like solar recharge or anything because I don't really need it. I've only got three targets. Uh, I think it's a bit too much if I go for the solar recharge route. Two Chaos Sorcerer. It would be one castle, so I won BLS, but I sold my BLS when I decided to quit last September after the ban list. But um, yeah, back in the game, so the castle so as well have to do does basically the same thing. Yeah, it's not as powerful as BLS, but can't really do much on the budget. Prime material, uh, just tech in there really. The light stops destruction. You can get Wyvern's effects off and stuff. It's pretty good. Dark armed. Not many Chaos Dragons run this, I see, but uh, I like it. Gives me another Eclipse Wyvern target in the deck. Uh, add it to my hand, make my opponent uh, wary of my graveyard. And then, obviously, 2800 attack. Pop. It's good. Just a good card. Uh, two Veilers. Light, easy discard, uh, stops quite a lot of things, can't really say much else on it, it's just a good card. One Honest, loads of lights, protects my uh, light swarms or the light pulse off from being destroyed. Tech Spirit Reaper, just helps me maintain advantage, keep it set, uh, gives me access to rank freeze as well with my mind control and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's a good card, and obviously when it gets destroyed, nice dark for the grave. Uh, Tech DD Crow, I run this instead of the second Dark Flare. Uh, it does basically the same thing uh, as Dark Flare by removing one of their cards from play, but um, it's also a nice easy discard for a dark, uh, as long, along with uh, Effect Vader and stuff like that, so nice discard, fills up my grave. Gives me opportunity to go off with the, the light pulses, dark flare, or castle sorcerers and gauze. 
don't run many traps. If they wipe my field somehow and I can't get back, well, direct attack, summon this, stall for a bit until I regain my field advantage. So what we've got here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26 monsters. Wow. On to the spells. 2 duality, just add consistency. Uh, just normal summon the turn. Get the mills like Car Trooper or Lila, or just set the Ryako or Eclipse Wyvern, doesn't really matter. Uh, Future Fusion, need I say more? Fills up the grave, gives me just game basically as soon as I do that. Charge, add in the mill factor as well, uh, adds the Lila or Ryako to my hand. Staple, Monster Reborn, don't really need to say much about that. A little of Darkness, gets rid of stuff that I don't really need, like Dark Flare. Or castle through my hand for the extra two draws. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, heavy storms, kind of staple really. Uh, two MSTs. Yep, pop back row. Book of Moon, Mare, and mind control just to help go off. That's good. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 spells which leaves 4 traps Solemn Judgment I might even take Solemn Judgment out uh, but it's, a, it's just too good just to stop anything really uh, Starlight Road simply because I go off and I could utilise the Stardust Dragon when it comes out and 2 Treacherous Tributes if my opponent goes mental do this uh, get light pulses effect, get red eyes back out and they can't do nothing. Um, that's it for my main deck, I'm going to cut it here and be back in a sec. Alright, sorry about that, I really can't wait to get my new memory card. I'm using like one gig which only records seven minutes at a time, it's really annoying. Uh, so yeah, so we've just done my traps, obviously four traps. That gives me a deck total of one, two, Deck total of 41. Um, I want to find room for one or two of these. Nice Vice Dragon. I might take out the Sodom Judgment and put one in. Um, I'm not sure what else I could take out to fit in another one. I don't really want to go up to 42 cards. But obviously, this. Special summon, and then like a normal summon light pulse or something. If I end up getting uh, lots of tribute monsters in my hand, which normally happens, uh, it gives me access to rank fives as well, like Tyrus, Adras, Crimson Blade, Armor Ninja, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, so if you've got any suggestions for me to fit these in, uh, comment below. Would be nice to find out people's opinions. Uh, I haven't really played much with this build uh, other than dual network but um, I played once in a tournament before I had my failures and I played in sectors quite a lot and I just couldn't do nothing they just kept popping um, obviously needed the failures and I didn't have no uh, anything else to stop them either so I'm tempted to go into locals with this build see what happens um, why I fix my watts, but yeah. So any help getting this in it in that deck? Let me know. Um, I go to my extra deck now. Uh, it's just thrown together really. Nothing really much in here. Uh, level three, uh, rank three. Sorry, Leviathan. We have got two Utopias, which I actually use quite a lot. Um, so I get Lila, and then another Lila in the field, and I don't want to mill six every time. I just go into Utopia. Utopia Ray as well. Uh, Armory Arm, don't think I've ever summoned it actually, funny enough. Android, Gaia, Iron Chain, Black Rose, Stardust, 
uh, Chromium Attack, 5 added, and my Gauze token. So yeah, um, if there's any like major fixes that you, uh, you think I should add to the deck, uh, please comment, um, because as you can see in that dual video last time, it felt a bit inconsistent, a bit too slow for dragons. Um, they're meant to just go off and just swarm the field uh, and just lock down your opponent so you can't get over it, but for some reason this ain't really working. Please don't suggest Tour Guide or Maxi. Um, I'm not going to buy Maxis, I'm not going to buy Tour Guides, they're just too much money. Uh, I'm a budget player. Yeah, I do sell Oracles and stuff like that, but I've got more important things like a camera <laughs> uh, and my flat to look after. So, yeah, please don't suggest those. Um, yeah, so that's it, I think. Um, Danny Bizzle, I'm out.